Coach Tom Avery here with Stephanie Tyler, WTA player. I'm a USPTA elite professional and head pro here at the Consistent Tennis Wins Academy in Naples, Florida. Today's tip is on how to improve your backhand, your one-hander and your two-hander. The first thing you want to consider is grip. You need the right grip, which will enable you to be vertical, you know, have your racket straight up and down when you're making contact with the ball. So you need a vertical racket, and grip plays a big part in that. Now, for the one-handed backhand, you know, you could use an eastern grip where you put the index knuckle and the heel of the hand on top of the handle. That's an eastern backhand grip for a one-hander or you could turn it a little more. Now watch how I turn the racket face down and I bring my hand towards me. That would be a semi-Western backhand grip. You're gonna need one of those two grips. If you want more detail on grips, please check out some other videos that we've done on the backhand on YouTube. Now Stephanie hits a two-hander. So Stephanie pretty much has her her dominant hand, she's a lefty, okay? So her, her left hand is in an eastern, eastern backhand grip with her left hand, and her non-dominant hand is a semi-western forehand grip. But Stephanie, you were telling me one of the keys, right, is what? To make sure that your non-dominant hand is doing more of the work, right? Yeah. Yeah. Always the hand that is closer to the head of the racket does more work on on your backhand, on the two-handed backhand. Yeah. Okay? It's not your stronger hand. It's always the hand that is a little bit weaker. Okay. Okay. So that's sometimes people take up tennis when they're 40 years old or whatever, and they say, hey, I see Serena Williams and Djokovic hitting two hands. I'm going to do that. But what you don't realize is that the non-dominant hand now is doing this fine motor skill. You know, you have to have a lot of coordination and strength in that non-dominant hand. Now, I'm not saying don't hit a two-hander. Two-hander is a great shot. But you have to realize right from the start that you have to use that non-dominant hand if you want to develop your two-handed backhand. So with the one-handed backhand, I think the key is for many people, like I said, make sure you have the right grip, Eastern or semi-Western. And then I'd say the next key to develop a good one-hander is just keeping the hitting arm extremely loose. Mm -hmm. You've got to keep it, think of it like spaghetti. <laughs> you know, yeah. Cook, yeah. cook spaghetti, right? Not al dente, <laughs> it's gotta be real loose, you know? So in other words, if I said to you, Imagine that your arm was going to come off at the shoulder and you're just trying to throw your arm over the net, you know, so yeah, you, you pull the racket back and just, you know, let it fly. You have to have a relaxed uh, hitting arm that's going to give you racket speed. And that's what it's all about on that one hander. You need racket speed. You need good technique and you'll get it. So we're gonna demo those for you now. We'll demo both shots. So you're working that, that non-dominant hand, your right hand's doing more work. Okay, watch here as Stephanie prepares for her backhand. And then right there, this is where she's going to start to swing forward. And if you want to develop your two-hander, this is where you have to focus on the non-dominant hand doing the bulk of the work. In this case, Stephanie's lefty, so her right hand is doing most of the work there through that contact zone. Now, obviously, if you're right-handed, it's going to be your left hand. But here you can see again, now Stephanie's going to start to swing forward, and her non-dominant hand's going to do the bulk of the work through the contact zone. Just remember, if you're right-handed, your left hand is going to do the bulk of the work. Okay, so I'm just trying to imagine I'm, I'm throwing my arm across the net. 
I'm just keeping a loose hitting shoulder. Okay, here in slow motion, you see as I prepare, I pull the racket back right there. Right now, all I'm focusing on is just throwing the arm away from my body. As I mentioned, if your arm was going to come off at the shoulder, just like you're trying to throw your arm over the net. Now again, from the side, you'll see as I start to prepare for the backhand, it's like I'm looking over my hitting shoulder right there. And the arm is extended out. And from here, I just throw the arm away from the body with a high finish. Well, I hope you enjoyed those tips. Thanks, Stephanie, for your help. And um, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, hit the like button. Tell your friends. Post any questions or comments below. And uh, if you want the free forehand course or the serve course that I've done, check the description box below. Or there's a link on the side here to your right to uh, subscribe to our channel. All the best. Thank you. Have See a good one. Soon.